you guys already seen by the thumbnail we got another glueless wig now one of you guys a few of you guys did ask me about how i felt about their um glueless wigs and i told you i believe at the time i hadn't tried one so this will be um very helpful for you since you asked specifically how do i feel about their viral straight wig because i think you said you've seen it all over tiktok and i have too so i finally got my hands on it you guys already know the um not me ripping the box the typical things they put inside there is a rather nice pair of like mink lashes in here edge band wig caps um more wig caps and of course they're like little brochure and whatnot and then i feel like this part is like very easy and self-explanatory but i think some of you guys are like underestimating how truly easy it is to install these wigs and the fact that they require little to no effort so i did hit mine with the blow dryer really quickly usually i like to let my units air dry but i did hit it with the blow dryer and i just put the little white thing back underneath it just for the purpose of showing you guys what the hairline looks like that construction on this wig is the ears are kind of cut out is no longer laying directly on top of your ear like the little c-shape here i know you guys can't see that well on camera and then of course it does have the elastic band in it no combs in this unit at all so that is pretty much it I'm just going to go ahead and try it on to show you guys what it looks like straight out of the box. I'm going to adjust the band. The fit is pretty good. I don't feel like I need to make it tight or anything. So as you guys can see, yes, the lace is like a little bit ashy. However, the lace is pretty good and it's super, super thin. They did go ahead and, like I said, bleach the knots, pluck the hairline and do all of that stuff for you but you do have to go in and tint your lace and i get a lot of questions about is that actually necessary or is that just something that's optional it's absolutely necessary you have to go in and tint your lace with something i'm going to be using the um ruby kisses foundation you can get this from the beauty supply store i believe this is level 15. the tag kind of came off it's either level 15 or level 16 but i'm pretty sure it's level 15. so i'm just going to take some of that on this um makeup brush and just put it on the lace let me just go ahead and double check my order just to tell you guys the exact dimensions of the lace so this is a four by six hd lace closure wig meaning that it is six inches across and then four inches of parting space going backwards yes you can definitely wear this into a side part if you guys haven't seen my last um video because it was a straight wig i did show you guys how easy it is to flip it into a side part without having to do too much so just text, I know it's a toss Oh, but I hate the fact that we lost such Ayy The Uber pulling up on call Tell me as you trying to fall through I'ma leave it up to you What you wanna do? Look, I'm trying to spend this time with you No, we overdo what you're doing right now, right now. Baby, won't you swing my way? It's been a day and I've been thinking all oh, long I know I want you Long time since the last time Got a tab, we could run up Knew you from the way, now we grown up My look, yeah, made the realest most nervous But if you want it, tap it I think that I know somewhere that we could go to crash land We could keep the pace on slow jam Don't leave me on red Can we go back where we first began? No plans, all we had was the moment like you guys see how a little bit more natural that looks when you kind of use what you already got just pull out literally just the tiny bit of your edges i don't know it's something so simple but it makes a world of a difference with my installs especially because sometimes i do like to tuck the hair behind my ear now some of my edges is still kind of um curly i don't i'm scared of the hot comb and everything hot so i don't get really too close right here so i did maybe here on down so if you guys can see that um it doesn't really bother me i don't really mind so yeah i just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to like low-key be giving sew in you know with just this one simple little trick and what makes it easier obviously is the wig itself especially when it comes to a straight wig it would look even more realistic or you know give sewing vibe even with a um yakky texture or like a kinky straight texture because i do love those textures as well so i bought one of these little razor things from the beauty supply store because i wanted to kind of put like layers in the hair but i don't know if i'm going to do that i might just leave it straight of how soft and how flowy the hair is prior to me I, I haven't straightened this side yet but all i did was 
use my Revlon round brush uh, blow dryer and it got it pretty straight. That's why I'm barely putting any heat on it. I'm not doing like too many passes with the hair. So I'll go ahead and straighten this side in a second and then I will tell you guys about how affordable this wig is what are my initial thoughts um thus far since this is my first time literally putting it on and then i will go ahead and wrap up this video you love it when i get so high and drop that thing so low sit right here now you can't go back home you love it when i get so high and drop that thing so okay so i decided to just keep the hair straight i didn't cut any layers into it i didn't color it i didn't do anything because i'm my goal with um trying these different glueless wigs from these different companies is to give you guys my first impressions of it with the hair not being altered at all um sometimes maybe if i do feel like coloring i will but i really want to kind of get a feel from the hair without having to go in and do anything extra. So I didn't add any baby hairs to this install. No, nothing. I didn't pluck it, nothing but just bleach, not even bleach, nothing but just tint the lace and then literally put it on and that was it. So this is their Silky Straight Easy Wear and Go Glueless Wig. The lace, as you guys can see, is pre-cut. As I mentioned earlier, this is a four by six HD lace closure wig. Super beginner friendly and it's really affordable. The hair type that I selected is Brazilian because you do have the option to choose on there. And then the length that I got it in is their popular length, I guess that's selling right now, which is their 24 inch. And the total is $257. However, they do have these coupons on here and I'm checking now and they're still on there. There's a $65 off coupon. So the total goes from 257 goes all the way down to $192.42. So 250 down to 190. So that's pretty good, pretty affordable, especially like I said, for these types of wigs where they literally do everything for you. There is just one tiny little thing that I do want to point out because this wouldn't be a true authentic review for me if I didn't give you guys both the pros and the cons. This hair has a little bit of flyaway hairs and they're mainly all on the top area here. Pretty obvious, pretty visible. So you are going to need some type of reinforcement. I chose a wax stick. You guys, this is the wax stick by Care Care. I get it off Amazon. It is linked to my Amazon storefront under wig essentials. And this seems to really help. Or if I didn't have a wax stick or if you don't want to use a wax stick, I would use like something like this Tresemme volumizing mousse that has like a really super hold on it. Just squirt it, put it on and just you know flatten it down and then you may or may not need to go in with a hot comb like as a follow-up so that's not a deal breaker for me because i feel like the hair itself is pretty good it just would be nice if they can kind of get that issue under control i don't know if that's something that the hair companies can control or not but when it's like very obvious and like overpowering i will say you know what it's a deal breaker but this one it's manageable once you just like i said go on with like a wax stick or something to lay them down but if you get this wig, I don't want you to be caught off guard. I'm very pleased with it. I don't have any cons. Hair is supposed to be 180% density. I'm going to put all the hair to the front so you guys can see. It just feels like a very natural density. I wouldn't say it feels like 180, especially for it to only be 24 inches. It should be giving just like a tiny bit more fullness. It's not a problem for me. I'm just making um, you guys aware of that because you guys may get this wig and think that it's not full enough to your liking for me i'm okay with this density because like i said it just makes the wig look a little bit more natural with that being said if you know for a fact that you are one of the girlies who like very full wigs i don't think it comes in any other density option so this may not be the best option for you because they don't offer it in anything else and then one thing i did also want to mention is that there is like a i don't know like an 18 or 20 dollar price difference depending on if you get the wig with the knots already bleached by them or if you get the wig with the knots not bleached honestly if the price difference matters to you you could always just go in and bleach the knots yourself however i went ahead and got the one that is already pre-bleached so the one that's not bleached for this length is like 236 and then like i said the one that i got with the bleach knots is 257 dollars. so i don't know the exact math but there is a little bit of a price difference if you don't like to bleach the knots let them do it because they did a phenomenal job with that i would say it's totally worth it to pay for them to go ahead and have to do it because you don't see any knots 
at all on this wig which I absolutely love. This is the hair of course with no product on it at all. You guys will see like the difference here. Um, this is the hair that's on the closure that's only 20 inches because that's just how wigs are and then the rest of the hair is 24 inches so if you guys see that if that bothers you then just kind of cut some layers into the hair if you don't mind doing that but I know that I did get asked about that why isn't the hair the same length I feel like I've talked about this in the video before whatever unless it says that it's a you know same length type of wig like it's, if it's a 30 inch wig and it has like a 30 inch frontal attached to it you can almost always actually always expect the closure or frontal on whatever wig you get to only be 20 inches and then the actual length of the hair um is what you get for the rest of the wig so i hope that makes sense you guys already know my vibe i'm all for something that requires little to no effort i love a wig that i could just literally do the bare minimum to and then go on about my way if i'm going to spend some time doing something to a wig i want that to be either like wand curling the hair or curling the hair i don't want to have to spend so much time on the install process which is why i just love these um glueless wear and go closure wigs so if you find yourself being interested in this one it is linked down below my description box i hope that i didn't miss anything to my subscriber who asked about this particular wig from this particular hair company i do hope that you're watching this video and i will go ahead and give it my stamp of approval like i said if you don't mind the flyaways like i said because it's not really a deal breaker then i do think that this is going to be a good wig that concludes this video if i miss anything you guys can feel free to leave any questions down below if you guys have tried this exact wig please comment down below your experience with it as well um thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time